Hello, my name is Giorgio Gasparini and this is how to use OpenETL template. The value of this solution is the ability to create an OpenETL template to easily integrate data stored into CSV files or SQL databases. This provides a fast time to value since there is no need to reconfigure new parser or extract RTLs from scratch and this gives a simplified administration. You can follow the workflow to creating templates to be used with CSV parser and database extractor ETLs. The table UI allows quick verification of identified columns from uploaded sample data. The messages below help data mapping with an indication of missing required fields and errors. And I also suggest a solution in case an error is detected. As already said, the OpenETL template wizard simplifies the creation of columnar and vertical CSV and SQL ETLs and will guide you through the steps. The OpenETL templates already created are listed under Administration, Template Management, OpenETL Templates. The Edit option allows you to modify the metric mappings on ETL templates. No other input parameters can be modified. All the properties set up in the OpenETL template are inedited by the ETL instance. By design, if you further change the template, the changes in the template are not reflected in the already instantiated ETLs. Let's try to create an OpenETL template and use it together. Add edit OpenETL template. Create a new OpenETL template. We choose to create a CSV file and import system type performance on configuration metrics. You, if you want, you can filter for entity types to see only the relevant metrics into your CSV file, but we won't do it. We will upload a sample CSV file from which we can take the file format. And here you can see the real power of this solution. Columns are mapped from original to dataset columns. In this case, this is a CSV already produced by BCO as a diagnostic file. So we have already a one-to-one -one easy mapping between the relevant metrics. In case there are errors or warnings, these are displayed here. Warnings can be ignored or explained. In case there are red errors, so a mandatory column is missing, you are not allowed to go further. All mandatory columns are mapped, so we can proceed. We can give a name and a description. And we are done. The OpenETL template we just created is visible from Administration, Template Management, OpenETL template. As you can see, there is no instances created for this OpenETL template. We can create an ETL based on that template right now. Add ETL based on OpenETL template and we choose the one we just created. As you can see, the wizard is really simplified at this point. You just need to choose the entity catalog, which is private, where to put the data, the file location, if you need to recourse or other things. We will remove the simulation just to immediately show the result and we can save. We can further change scheduling or uh, scheduler properties but we will simply run it for now. The file gets parsed and machines get created. As you can see the ETL completed successfully. As you can see the domain has been populated and machines have been imported. If we check there are available metrics imported just a few samples and from a quick analysis we can see at least one sample was imported and the ETL worked properly.